Welcome back in to another episode of the mini series we're running over here on the McNutta channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you want more content from the South Harmon crew, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for more of that. Now, I know why you tapped in today. Today, we're talking Kyle Pitts, the hardest to attain and most exciting player potentially in all of Dynasty football. So let's dive right into Kyle Pitts. So what do we know about Kyle Pitts? Let's start from the beginning. Let's go with the prospect profile. Coming out of Florida University at six foot six, 245 pounds, this is a guy everybody was really excited about. Last year, coming off the board very high in rookie drafts, somebody because of that I was not in on at cost because rookie tight ends tend to take a little longer to develop. But when you get into the prospect profile, him running a 4.49, Having all the athletic traits and the production in college, certainly somebody that is a prospect, potentially the greatest prospect we've ever seen, right? Now, on top of that, he gets the earliest draft capital that we've ever seen from the tight end position. We've seen top tens, TJ Hawkinson, Eric Ebron. We have not seen number four. You can go back and find a top five guy, but you have to go back a long way. Tied in second at number five, is Mike Ditka, which was 1961, an archaic style of game of football compared to what we play today. Now, on top of that, they take him at the fourth pick. They have a new GM coming over. This is a team that's already signaling that needs to rebuild. Their win-loss total in Vegas last year, not very high. A team that projected to not be very good. They also had a Matt, an aging Matt Ryan. 21 had great quarterback prospects. Now, we know that Lance was gone, as well as Trevor Lawrence, but they had the opportunity to take a guy like Justin Fields or a Mac Jones. They passed on all that in a rebuild as a new GM, and they take Kyle Pitts, what is viewed as a luxury position in tight end. At number four, all of these things for Kyle Pitts, the prospect, the situation, where he went in the draft, they're very, very different than the rest. All right, so let's get into Kyle Pitts' rookie season. Now, we know young tight ends, rookies, they take a little while to develop. The tight end position is one that typically takes time to learn. Now, Kyle Pitts breaks the mold as far as that goes. The only person to ever have more yards in a season than Kyle Pitts, you have to go all the way back to 1961, fifth overall pick, Mike Ditka. Now, he beats him by 50 yards. Football was very different back then. But he had 1,076 receiving yards, and he had 12 receiving touchdowns. A guy that was absolutely utilized like a monster in his rookie season. Now, Kyle Pitts has 1,026 receiving yards as a rookie at the tight end position. You can't find that anywhere else. He is a rare breed. Now, on top of that, at the tight end position, he was number five in targets last year, number six in target share. When you go to first down catches on third down with seven yards or more to go so they have to move the chains it's in a situation where they have to move the chains and it's somebody they want to trust and rely on to get a first down to keep their drive alive kyle pitts tied for seventh in the nfl at all positions tied with stefan diggs and hunter renfro two veterans that are heavily relied upon upon their team last year kyle pitts had as many catches on third and seven or longer as Stephon Diggs and Hunter Renfro. On top of that, when you get to Kyle Pitts, catches of 25 yards or more amongst all NFL players, not just tight ends, wide receivers, running backs, all positions, he tied for 13th. He was also tied with T. Higgins, Terry McLaurin, the Slim Reaper, Devontae Smith, and Chase Claypool. Then you get into his in the tight end position. In yards per reception, Kyle Pitts, number one in the NFL at 15.1 
yards per reception. On top of that, you have number two in the NFL in ADOT. So this is a guy that's being targeted downfield in his rookie season as a young guy at 20 and 21 years old and has over 1,000 yards at the tight end position. This is just what he did in his rookie season. But let's really talk about the upside and why Kyle Pitts truthfully is a unicorn. Cool. Cool. I'm a unicorn. I've been popping way before there was a kettle. I've been lifting weights while the rain rhymes. It's- All right, so why is Kyle Pitts a unicorn, you ask? Kyle Pitts is a unicorn, something highly desirable but difficult to attain. Why is that? Let's go point by point, and I'll summarize. Now, as a tight end, very late in the season, almost to the end of the year, Cooper Cup had 151 snaps in line. Kyle Pitts had 160 snaps in line. Cooper Cup is a slot wide receiver, not a tight end at all. They had almost the same amount of snaps in line. Think about that. To be more precise, Kyle Pitts ran 78.2% of his snaps from the slot or out wide last season, essentially being utilized as a receiver. The traditional way, in line, As a tight end, basically only 20% of his snaps are being utilized that way. They want to utilize him as a receiver. Now, when you look at his season as a rookie, the one thing that kept him back from being truly different than everyone is the touchdowns. One touchdown last season. This guy had 15 red zone targets. What do we know about touchdowns? The least sticky stat in all of fantasy. Now, If you go back and look at last year, TD dependency NFL average for wide receiver was 19%. Kyle Pitts was 3%. The only players that were lower than him are Jerry Judy, Miles Sanders, and Kenny Galladay because they didn't score a touchdown. So we know positive touchdown regression is coming. The Dynasty Sharps know this. Now, here's the very interesting part. The Atlanta Falcons had a great Hall of Fame player. And Julio Jones, who constantly had the positive touchdown regression discussion coming his way. Kyle Pitts, if he is going to be utilized somewhat close to Julio Jones, and you get to put him in your tight end spot, that's crazy. Now think about all this, right? This is a wide receiver that's being categorized as a tight end. And he's 21 years old, so he's going to give you elite production because we've already seen a thousand yards as a rookie. So he's going to give you elite production and he's going to give you security at the most scarce position in all of dynasty. Kyle Pitts is a unicorn. I'm getting ready to buy everything on the dollar menu. That's right. I'm getting ready to be a dollar menu millionaire. Okay. You know what time it is. It's time to talk value and Kyle Pitts value. Is he a value in super flex tight end premium drafts? Everybody wants to go bargain bin hunting. Everybody wants something off the dollar menu, something that's going to cost you nothing and be very valuable to you. That's not the case with one Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts now, according to ADP, is coming off the board at the 111 in Superflex tight end premium drafts. Truthfully, he doesn't have much to go up in value. Maybe he creeps into that mid-first range, but he's never going to pass the top three quarterbacks. He's not going to go higher than that. So as far as him being able to grow in value, that's really not there. However, for all the reasons I discussed earlier, him being such a young producer and giving you such elite production for projected a long time at the most scarce position, I am in on Kyle Pitts if you do want to utilize a back-end first-round startup pick on him, especially if it's in a lineup league, start 9, start 10, because of the positional scarcity. So is he a value? Not really. He's not someone that's going to give you a great value growth, but he does give you such a security in your lineup. I'm willing to invest on him at cost. For someone that was not in on him at all, I do have several shares of Kyle Pitts, and I'm very excited about his prospects for now and in the long term. So what do you have to say about Kyle Pitts? And are you in on ADP? Or is he someone that you're fading and you'd like to go ahead and address tight end later? Let me know. Oh, 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 oh,